Matt Mullenweg, the creator of WordPress, has announced that the new release date for WordPress 5 or the Gutenberg update is December 6th of 2018. That is in two days, December 4th today. There was a previous update or a previous release date of November 27th, which didn't happen. There was a previous release date of the summer of 2018, which didn't happen. So is it actually going to happen in two days? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I feel like I've been reading about it, doing some research. I feel like it's a little bit rushed. I feel like it's not quite ready. But there's something important happening on December 7th, which is Matt Mullenweg's keynote at a big WordCamp in the U.S. So are they timing the release for his keynote so he can go there and show it off? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Nobody really knows. But here's what I do know. If you head over to GitHub, we search for bugs, still open issues and open bugs with WordPress 5. There are currently 280 open bugs, reported bugs, confirmed bugs that need to be fixed. There are 1,377 open issues that need to be fixed. Are they going to fix all these by two days from now? Probably not. Do they need to? I don't know. I haven't been tracking this for all the previous major releases, so I don't know if it's normal to have that many open issues and open bugs. There's always going to be bugs. You're never going to have the perfect product ever because the perfect product never gets released. So there's always going to be some amount of bugs and issues that need to be addressed. But I don't know if this is a lot. It seems like a lot. But honestly, I don't know if it is. So this might not be a huge issue. But if they're timing the release for Matt's keynote instead of for when Gutenberg is ready, that is an issue. And that can cause a lot of problems for us, the WordPress community, the WordPress users. So here's what I'm going to do. You might want to do this as well. I'm not going to update my main websites to WordPress 5 when it's released. I'm going to wait until the new year. I'm going to wait and see what happens. And I do this with all software. So it's not like WordPress is somehow special in this regard. Whenever there's a major release for my phone or my computer or my car doesn't have any software of, the, of that nature. But whenever there's a major release of software, I don't update sometimes until months down the road because usually it's not that big of a deal. Minor updates will do as they come along because usually that isn't a major overhaul. And usually nothing major can crash with minor updates. But with major ones, I hang tight. I wait. Because if you're the one who updates on the first day it's released in the first minute or the first hour and stuff crashes and then you report to the company and say, hey, this crash, it's broken, help me. You are essentially the company's guinea pig. Because that's the first time that product has been out in the wild. It's the first time it's been truly tested in a working environment by end users in their day-to-day -day business. And do you want to be that guinea pig? I think it's the bottom line. I don't want to be. I don't think you should be. I don't think there's a huge emergency to update in the first day or the first week or the first month. I'm pretty sure we can wait until early 2019, until January or February, and then create a testing environment, update to the newest version of Gutenberg. And I'm sure we're going to be at version 5.0.10 by then or 5.1 already with with all the feedback they'll be getting from the world to improve things and fix bugs and fix the most important bugs. Because a lot of these bugs that you see here, they're found by people who are testing it. But this ACF meta boxes are always visible bug, that might be found by 0.1% of the planet. So it's not a high priority bug, but they can't really know that with this small sample size of testers. So Essentially, when software is released, it has to be put out in the world when it's not 100% ready and feedback has to be obtained and then fixes need to be made. There are rare cases where software comes out almost perfectly, but they're pretty few and far between. And also, do I think WordPress 5 is a cause for panic? I don't think so. I think there are some open issues, as you can see here in the GitHub, and they're all public. It's not like they're trying to hide this stuff. And th th there are open issues that need to be addressed, but... Is WordPress 5 going to completely change WordPress and how it works? No, it's just changing the display of the editor. It's essentially taking just a classic editor where you have some text or HTML version to make it more user-friendly. And whether you think it's more user-friendly or not, it actually is. Because if you went and used the visual editor, which I haven't done in the past 10 years because it kind of sucks, you'll know that if you're just doing the HTML editor, it's not that user-friendly compared to what they have now, assuming you don't have a page builder. These days, most people have page builders. So 
you know, they're not trying to replace page builders. They're just trying to improve their base product. That's all. A lot of people have suggested one of these buy a page builder like Elementor and wrap that right into the core. And yeah, sure, they could do that. The only trouble is WordPress is a free product. Elementor is a premium product. And with premium products, if it sells well, you have money coming in. So you can keep funding development. You can keep funding releasing of new features, new improvements, and this and that and the other thing. When you have free software that's created entirely by volunteers, you don't really have the money to back it like you do with the paid product that's selling well. So if they went and bought Elementor, wrapped it into the core, I doubt Elementor would remain Elementor for long. The Elementor that we know, which is constantly getting new features. I doubt that'll be happening if they wrap that into the core. Either way, all this to say, WordPress 5 is coming soon. Whether it's December 6th or not, we're gonna find out, but it's coming very soon. Am I gonna update right away? No, I'm not. Am I panicked that WordPress 5 is coming? No, I'm not. Any issues that arise when I update and, and have problems on my site, I will fix those as they come. And a year from now, or a year after Gutenberg is released, we're gonna look back and see all this panic and frustration and anxiety about WordPress 5 wasn't really necessary. Sure, there's gonna be some hiccups. There always are with, with anything, but I think it's gonna be fine. And I think it's gonna be a lot like the GDPR was, where it's this mad panic to get our site's GDPR compliant. And then it, the date comes, and there's some anxiety the following week, and did I do it all right, and this and that, and then nothing happens. The world goes on. The EU uses GDPR to target the big companies, and because the, the small guy doesn't just doesn't generate enough revenue to make it worthwhile, uh, so WordPress 5 is obviously different than that, but it's gonna blow over as well, and life will go on, and I think it'll be fine.